Hi YouTube, welcome to uh, another video on my transit van interior. Uh, the last video I showed you a lot was when we just got the van and all the plans of what's going in it. Um, and the previous video for that again was making the bed. So all the bed is in the van now. That bit on front of you there will slide out and it will go further back than what it is now. It's because I varnished it this morning, it's still wet paint, so I can't pull that out now for you lot. In the corner here, made a little lift up latch in the corner. Uh, 12 volt battery down there, all fused up. On the side here, a little box, bought out of eBay for about six quid. So it makes it a lot neater instead of just having the old individual wire ones. Um, the first one is my lights on the roof. The second one's my winch. The third one would be the 12 volt supply to the caravan towing plug on the back of the van because it's the 13 pin one we got. Um, that one beside it is the cigarette lighter thing or the phone charger plug in the back here. And I will have a couple spare for the minute for anything. Um, quite a few wires running around in there, but I've got as neat as I possibly can. Um, that wire runs up from the side, up in the roof. So you've got lights on the roof now. Um, switch right down beside the drive, uh, the sliding door start again. Um, we've got lights on the roof now, so you have them individually on or off if you want to, as and when, on both of them. Um, carpet it all the roof. The second switch in, is for the winch, it's on the actual van battery itself the winch is. So you turn that on and you've got the power for your winch there. Winch at the minute is down behind my seat. But down here I'm going to cut a hole out and put like a letterbox flap so it will open up and the wire can come up to the back for pulling the engines up. Um, bottle opener. A sheet of ply I put down and varnished it. I can set my cooker on it then so I can cook with the door open. I know you got it outside, but if it's raining, I'll show and think and cook inside. I've got to get some foam cushions made up, curtains for the front I need, and curtains for the back windowed. All the roof is insulated, the floor is carpet, the walls are all insulated up from top to bottom, the back door is insulated, the sliding door is done and all carpeted. I painted the walls black for the time being, but they will be done in carpet. It was because when we bought the van, it was quite dusty, so it's just to. I have cleaned them down as best I can, just give them a coat of paint just to seal them, to stop all the dust from going everywhere. Another little gadget on the roof is a little tiny LED light, and it shines the Ford Transit logo on the floor. It don't well, it works, but it don't work during the daylight, so it has to be dark. So if I turn it on a minute, you can see it's glowing. But if I get a sheet of steel. You should be able to see it then. Like that, and that'll see it shine on the floor. But I'll see the further away you go, the bigger it'll go. So that'll shine directly onto the floor. And pretty much goes from the back door to my front seats. So that was just generally guessing to put it in the right place. So that's linked onto the door. So when you open the doors, that'll shine right down on the floor. And obviously it had a big Ford logo on the floor there. It's a little bit of fun. Um, like I said, I've got get cushions for it. Some curtains made up. I ain't going to put much more of an interior in it at the minute because the weight of carrying stuff. It ain't that heavy what I've got on it now. It's all made out of very light, small timber. It's is strong enough. Enough room to get in out the side and door. Um, other things I've done to it, awnings on, I think you can see that in the sunlight. Got the special alley brackets for putting them up, and I left holes in my interior roof so I can get to the bolt easily. Um, got the damp to sort out on the sliding door here. Yeah. Arches need doing. Put my chrome hubcaps back on. Other ones on the front. Change the old orange light lenses to the clear ones. 
come to the back, change the old orange ones, uh, the plain orange ones to the clear lenses from the 2007 model transit. On the 2002, they fit on fine. Um, took all the turrets off at the minute, I've repainted all that bar black for the time being. It's got to have a couple more coats so it can all go back on. I've got the step from the old band going. My chrome number plate holders are on. And you can probably remember from the last video if you've been watching it. It had writing all over the side. All hand painted. It wasn't stickers. Normally stickers you can heat gun them and take them off. Um, the stuff I use took a while off fine. There's a couple bits which will come off over time with a bit of polishing on them. The stars won't budge, but I quite like the stars there, I'll leave them there. Um, the stuff I use to remove the writing, because this is all written, here it was, and the bonnet, and all this stuff I use, I'll take you down to my shed a minute. I left the radio on, turn the radio off a minute. Blah. Stuff I use, if I can find it, everywhere, is oven cleaner. So it's like a thick gel, it's just the ones you buy, you can buy them in Tesco's and stuff. You put them in that sealed bag and leave them overnight. But I just use the stuff as it is, put gloves on because it is quite a dangerous chemical, and rub it into the letter as hard as you can. Leave it a couple of minutes, but you've got to keep scrubbing it as you're going along. It's not the sort of stuff you can paste it on, leave it for two minutes, and then it'll wipe off. You've got to keep rubbing it as hard as you can. And then once you get rid of it, get a damp cloth, wipe over the panel, and then maybe stick some turtle wax on or water glim polish just to seal it. It hasn't done no damage to the undercoat of paint. So it's not, well, especially whoever's painted the van from brand new, it hasn't affected that factory style paint. So, oven cleaner will do it quite good. Go back to the van, quite a walk. <laughs> also ordered since the last video, new window switch because it didn't work that window, so the window will go up and down now from the driver's side, the passenger side. Cleaned it as best I can for the minute. It's been an old builder's van. It was quite thick dust and all the nuts and crannies. You can see it in the camera. It looks quite good in the camera. So, a couple of holders and still just clean up there. But I've cleaned most of it. It's quite an easy job kitting out the back. I have got grand my granddad and everything to help me, but it didn't really well, I built all the bed myself. The roof, um, just one Saturday morning, I had an 8 before 4 sheet. <laughs> uh, roughly measured it all up, cut it roughly. And then got the bother to give me a hand just to hold it up while I banged a couple of screws in. And then was left with like a stupid like 15 inch piece to stick in the side. So that's another 8 before 4 sheet. Still got quite a big bit down in the shed. I cut a bit obviously for that. Cupboard doors I might put on eventually, but I could probably live without them at the minute. Don't really bother me. Left my tine straps down. It's quite easy doing it all really. Carpet tile is a bit awkward laying, but the trick is just cut loads of small bits of paper up and cut them into fit and stick them with sanitator as you go. And then you've got your template them to do the edge. I've already done it before, carpet tiles and the transit short wheelbase in the last one I had. It's gone in quite well around the arches. The back door I ran out of carpet because I just stick it in a couple of pieces but you can't even see the line there. If there's a line here somewhere you might faintly see it but it doesn't stand up that well so that's good to you don't see it much anyway unless you're in it. It will probably sit uh, probably about seven people on all these seats around the back. It's a single berth sleep at the minute just enough for me to sleep on that bed when it's pulled out it's a single when it's out um i suppose i have had to make it into a double in the future I'll just make another bed like a square bit build it in this corner here make that bit slide that way 
then do the same as that bed on that one so it'll come down this way so it will join it into a big double down hopefully but there ain't two people sleeping out in a minute you can sleep on the floor because sometimes my sister goes on the shows with me so I can sleep up in the bed and she's got the floor down there it's six foot from that board to the door so there's plenty of room to sleep so thank you for watching YouTube if you want to do camper van and you're free to welcome to use my design I've used for my beds and that it does work really well for the van and um, you still got plenty of room so make one if you can I would rather do in the future a bigger van higher roof and longer wheelbase kit it out from front to back so thanks for watching join me again for another video cheers and gone